welcome to the next episode of the Klingberg Wing Mark II Development. I'm Raul Klingberg, your host. Today we're going to talk about tough testing. Uh, this type of testing is done uh, with pieces of yarn taped to the wing or fuselage, any part of an aircraft. And that yarn helps us visualize the flow on that particular surface. It's a process often used in the early stages of an aircraft development to see how the uh, wing is behaving uh, in various flow conditions. Uh, it's good for spotting things like stall or we, for flying wings we're often interested in spanwise flow. It's very good for that also or separated flow and uh, we were out recently doing ground testing on the wing. Uh, I'm strapped into the cockpit uh, and I'm using the normal flight controls to fly the wing in place on the ground. The uh, wind's blowing about 10 miles an hour gusting to 15, 16 and it was those gusty conditions were causing us some problems and you'll see that in the video. So let's roll tape. So uh, you can see the tufts are moving around quite a bit. The to flow is very turbulent. Uh, my buddy Peter is adjusting the camera. Uh, Peter, by the way, is the gentleman who developed uh, the simulator for my wing. So if you have the X-Plane simulator, you have this gentleman to thank for all the fun you're having with it. So once he gets the camera adjusted and gets out of the way, we get a little better view of what's going on the wing. You'll see that there's a lot of uh, turbulent condition here near the root section. And I need to point out that the glider normally sits on the ground at a fairly generous angle of attack up around eight degrees, nine degrees, something like that. And we're sitting at the edge of a little hill, so the localized flow conditions have an upward component to them. So as I go to lift the glider, as you're seeing here, as I do the initial lift, I'm lifting the nose up, and that's stalling the inboard portion of the wing. Now the good news is we're seeing the inboard portion of the wing stall first, and the outboard portions are still flying. And that's exactly what we want to see. That's what keeps the aircraft safe and stable and easy to fly uh, in stall conditions uh, in normal flight. Uh, so that's the first piece of good news that comes in from the tough testing. Now, what we're going to see here is that as the wind gusts, uh, the telltales or the tufts uh, go all over the place. We see a lot of turbulence. We see a squirt of spanwise flow there uh, and the auto yaw winglet is trying to align itself uh, with the uh, incoming breeze but having difficulty because its angular momentum or angular motion is limited and I'm standing a little bit crosswind so the auto yaw winglet can't really fully align with the incoming breeze. Uh, you'll see the elevon moving up and down as I attempt to uh, balance the wing and roll. Now, overall, when the conditions are smooth like this, I was able to fly the wing in place. But we had conditions where, uh, like this, the wing is down and I have the elevon down. I have a lot of roll control put in there and I'm trying to lift that wing up and it's coming up very slowly and uh, we were very concerned about this when we were on site because it seemed that the ailerons were very sluggish and the basic conclusion we came to is that there was so much separated flow so much turbulence we really don't know uh, the previous day when it was relatively calm but slow winds around six miles an hour it was very easy to balance the wing side to side I uh, didn't get any sense of sluggishness. So uh, this testing was somewhat useful, uh, but we were probably in a situation where we were sitting in a rotor and we really got kind of skewed results that the ailerons are not as effective as they really are because uh, there were a lot of situations where the flow was just separated. Um, and uh, we struggled and struggled and figured, well, it's a good day to take it home in one piece, not mess with it, and come back uh, on a better day. And shortly here, we're going to switch over to a close-up view to see what's going on out at the Elevon and winglet and the wing tip panel, which is outboard of the winglet, uh, because the flow conditions out there are critical uh, to this aircraft. And here we are, we're zoomed in, uh, and you can see that the telltales on the winglet are really chaotic. And as I explained, that's because the winglet can't get itself aligned to the incoming flow because I'm standing at a, a, a basically a base a crab condition or a yod condition. Here we see that the flow is going fairly straight over the wing. You can see the elevon there, 
and uh, there we see a little bubble go through that was separ separated flow probably due to the rotor that I'm standing in and that's when I have full down elevon there to lift up that wing and I'm having a difficult time lifting it up. The good news is in this particular uh, situation we see those uh, separated bubbles coming through but the wing tip panel itself outboard of the winglet uh, the flow conditions still look relatively good out there and that's really critical that's exactly what I designed this aircraft to do that's why the winglet is where it is so despite the flow conditions being uh, chaotic in the elevon area the wing tip is still flying and that tip panel that's outboard of the winglet that is providing the uh, pitching moment that's required to keep the aircraft stable, it's acting essentially as the horizontal stabilizer would act on a regular aircraft. So the design appears uh, for the most part to be working as intended, uh, that the wingtip wing panel is always flying. And that's the panel that goes from the winglet all the way out to the tip. Uh, we see some conditions where it's a little bit separated out there, kind of to be expected because we're down in the boundary layer of the ground. But overall, pretty good. When we see the flow get lined up with the winglet, then the winglet is behaving like it's supposed to. So overall, these conditions look pretty good. Uh, except for the issue of the separated flow uh, causing problems with the elevon and not having good roll or pitch authority. Uh, also during this testing I, I ran the flaps a little bit and they responded as expected. A uh, small deflection of flap uh, provided a nice little nose up pitchy moment and a significant addition to the overall lift making it easier to pick up the glider and pitch the nose up to prepare to launch. Um, I felt very comfortable uh, in the current lift harness that we have. It was fairly easy to lift the aircraft. We actually had it sitting up on sawhorses, so I didn't have to do a big lift all the way from the ground. Uh, and uh, we're putting a new wheel on the glider uh, that's larger diameter uh, to provide a little bit more clearance for my legs so I can get a little bit more leverage uh, to pick up the glider from the ground. Uh, so a little ground test. We didn't get a lot of work done. We didn't get to really test the stall or a bunch of other stuff, but we learned a lot. The telltales uh, really tell the story, no pun intended, and uh, we see that for the most part the wing is behaving as it should. It's stalling inboard first, and when there is separated flow, uh, the winglet uh, mount and the winglet itself are stopping that flow from going outboard and disturbing the flow that's on the wingtip panel. So, so far everything is behaving as expected, we just need to get out in better conditions. Okay, I want to take a moment here at the end to give a big shout out to all my patrons. Uh, without them, uh, this project would be much more difficult, uh, especially on the moral support aspects. They are always there for me, giving uh, very interesting and helpful feedback and uh, encouraging me to continue on with my work. And uh, it, you guys, if you're listening, you're terrific. I really appreciate all your support. If you'd like to join that august group of patrons, it's easy to do. Just go over to the description for this video. Uh, look down and you'll see that there's a link there for Patreon. Click on that and go in and pick your level of support. I have a wonderful welcome packages that are filled with uh, lots of wonderful things to support your own project and entertain you uh, along with all the content that's on the site. We have lots of technical details in all of the postings and you'll get uh, information, uh, more information at Patreon than you get here on YouTube and you'll get it sooner. So for a few dollars you can really help out a lot and be part of this interesting program. Uh, anybody that uh, stays subscribed on Patreon from now until I fly the glider gets their name on the glider. So you, in that way you get a chance to uh, uh, join me for that first flight. And you'll also have special access to the live stream video when we get out and fly it for the first time. So thanks for watching. Please come on over to Patreon and uh, let me know how much you uh, enjoy all of this information. Bye for now and fly safe.